Tory Lanez was found guilty of shooting Megan Thee Stallion and facing likely deportation. First of all, just off the front of this, I have to be honest, I was really shocked. Legitimately shocked. Based off the information that we were getting secondhand, third hand from hip hop blogs and various news platforms and journalists who were in court and out of court and had people there reporting back to them and the evidence that we, you know, were kind of privy to and whatnot and the back and forths, it didn't seem likely that the state could prove that Tory Lanez did shoot Megan. What we did get in that court case for sure was clarification that she definitely was shot because they found bullet fragments in her foot. So clearly the whole story of it just being glass was kaput, bullet fragments were in her foot, so it clearly was shot. The only thing that's a, real, a bit dubious about the shooting is that she was never shot directly in her foot. It's like she was hit with bullet fragments. So the whole like shot me in my foot thing is a little bit of a misnomer. There's no exit, intra exit wounds. She recovered really quickly after the fact. So I don't know. It's giving shrapnel sort of vibes. And I remember reading somewhere, which I'm not sure if this is true. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But I remember reading somewhere where they said, in America, technically, to get shot, you have to be... No, you can get shot in, like, directly with a bullet, like an exit or entry, an entry or exit wound, whatever it may be. And it's also being shot as a consequence of somebody shooting and then shrapnel hitting you. That's also a shooting. So technically, she'd be shot in each scenario. But the way they tried to make it seem was that she was she got shot directly in the foot, which she didn't. It was actually a ricochet. Cool, whatever it may be. That got proved. It didn't seem like to me that the state proved that Tory did it. But you have to respect the decision of the courts because those people in the jury had way more access to information and evidence that we had no inf access to. Um, they got to see these people up front and personal. They got to read their you know facial expressions, listen to their testimony, hear them get cross-examined. And if they all came to the conclusion that he was guilty, I can't sit here and say it was a flipping fix. It's hard for me to believe it was a fix if they all legitimately saw the evidence and proved him and kind of, you know, came to the conclusion that Tory was guilty. It's surprising, like I said to me, because the evidence didn't point to he did it. If I have to throw a guess out there, I would say most likely the evidence is leaning towards Kelsey because she's the one that went out there and got immunity. She got use immunity so that she couldn't testify to anything that was self-incriminating, which makes me think that there is more details to the story that she's purposely not, you know, sharing because it would obviously incriminate her. And I think that would obviously be the kind of theory out there that, um, you know, because I think the story goes something along the lines of Tory gets to the house party late. Like he gets invited there late. I think Megan invites him, hey, come over. And Kylie's like, yeah, come. And then they're excited for him to come over. He arrives, um, have, starts having a bit of banter with the ladies. And then he starts to get a bit of a vibe for Kylie and she starts to vibe back. And, but obviously, no one knows apart from Tori and Megan that they've been fucking on the side. Um, even though Tori was fucking Kelsey also. Then that weird dynamic thing is going on at that moment. Then for some reason, Megan and Kelsey end up leaving the party first. Leave Tori with, Kel with Kylie. Then on their way home, Megan probably gets jealous or whatever maybe and, and pretends to leave a slipper or something. And then they head back to the house to go get Tori and get the slipper. Then an argument happens between Megan and Kylie. We don't know what the details of it is, but something happens where they're reminded, hey, get the fuck out. So they leave. And then as they're all leaving now, Kelsey, Kylie, sorry, Kelsey, Megan and Tori, somehow when they're leaving in that car, an argument happens that results in Megan wanting to leave the car. And the argument that we've been led to believe is that Tori basically let it be known that he's been fucking both of them. Oh, let Kelsey know, hey, I've been fucking Megan as well. She kind of, you know, basically uh, betrayed you behind your back, even though I betrayed you also, you know, because he played a part in it as well. She leaves the car to go and, you know, get some air. She doesn't want to be involved in this mess. And then in the process of her leaving the car, that's when the shooting occurs. Now, the theory out there is that Megan got into a fight with Kelsey. As that revelation got put out there, the girls start going back and forth in terms of, you know, throwing insults. Maybe they get physical. Megan allegedly is beating uh, Kelsey up and winning the fight. Kelsey then runs to the front of the car, gets the gun in order to defend herself. And then there was two theories. So the one, one people, some people say she directly tried to shoot Megan, 
Tori gets the gun off her and then tries to empty, sorry, the clip by shooting the gun in the air and tells everyone to chill out. The other thing is that she gets the gun out, tries to scare Megan in the tussle with Tori because he's trying to get the gun off her. The gun flipping uh, goes off a couple of times. I don't know who it is. But it just doesn't seem likely that Megan's events, you know, Megan's flipping um, version of events where she says the whole dance bitch dance no one witness has kind of corroborated that story even though Meg even though Kelsey was in the car or around the area when it happened she didn't hear it the witnesses that were there outside or around the houses didn't hear that either um, no one could specifically said they saw Tori with the gun pointing it at Megan's feet so it's all a bit weird but again you have to respect the court's decision it is what it is um, you know, that guy is guilty and now he's going to spend a very, very long time in prison, it seems. I think he's going to get um, sentenced in January, um, which is crazy because I read somewhere that he's going to get maybe up to 22 years. And because he's Canadian, he'll most likely, or he'll definitely get deported. So he's going to serve 22 years in a US prison. He won't see LA or go to fun places like Miami anymore. Then as soon as he's flipping sentences over, he'll get deported straight away. What an absolute hellhole. So he would have spent 22 years in a country that isn't his own anymore. And then he'll go back to a country that he's left a long time ago to pursue his dreams. And then he can't return back to, which is a big chunk of his market, I'd assume, right? In terms of his fan base. So effectively, his career is basically over. 22 years on ice, not releasing any music. And then having to come out and then only having to have a career in Canada and internationally only. And even that is probably going to be up. Uh, it's going to be up in the air. You know what I mean? Especially with a violent offense like this with the guns and shit. So he probably needs to, he if he probably needs to appeal and he needs to hope that he can get this overturned in some crazy way, which is probably unlikely because I think, you know, the LADA and whatnot and everything, because it's a black woman and it was a really high profile case and all the hate that she got. I just don't see this getting turned around, you know. I think if they came to the decision, this is what the decision is. It kind of is what it is. What can you do? Um, but let's read the article here, Culture TMZ. It says, Tory Lanez is guilty of shooting Megan Thee Stallion in the foot back in 2020. 2020! I, for one, hopefully I speak for everybody, I'm happy it's fucking over. I'm sad for Tory, obviously, because, you know, if he's not guilty, it's a shame. I'm sad for Megan also, because two years plus of this drama going through people not believing you or this stuff you know drake dissing you and raps and shit being the butt of everyone's jokes absolutely horrendous right everybody loses in some way shape or form she's lost two years of her peace and happiness um tory's lost two years plus whatever 20 he gets in terms of his freedom and his ability to go out there and do the damn thing just the other day he was being excited and happy about working on Iggy Azalea's album, right? His girlfriend now at the moment co-producing it. Or oh, I think he was actually producing her album. Now that obviously is going to be put on ice. Bloody hell, man. Absolutely horrendous. The verdict came in Friday, just before the holiday. Oh, it's all just before Christmas. <laughs> Where a group of LA jurors found the Canadian rapper guilty of all three charges against him. Finally neglect this charge of a firearm. So that, that's, that theory that he unloaded a clip to get everyone to chill out was true assault with the same so they're basically saying he did do that and he also shot her and carrying a loaded and unregistered firearm so he was he carrying it though huh after the verdict was read several members of Tori's family including his dad and stepmom shouted the system stands before god and calling the court evil deputies surrounded his family members escorted them out of the courtroom Tori was filmed entering the court before the verdict was read telling cameras his spirits were high <laughs> yo this guy went to prison in a pink suit with a white turtleneck. Obviously, that was his like like celebration outfit if he was found not guilty. But imagine having to go to fucking jail in a pink suit with a white turtleneck with like, you know, uh uh what you call it? Loafers with no socks on and shit, feeling the vibe. Shit. And then being remanded in custody until January something. Or oh, January 27th says here. Tori now faces more. Then 22 years. Okay, I thought uh, someone speculated it would be 22 years and 8 months. He faces more than 22. Shit. Which will be determined during his sentence of January 27th. Sources connected to the case tell us Tory's lawyers were in touch with the immigration officials before the guilty verdict and were told they've been informed there's a strong likelihood that he'll be forced to leave the country. <laughs> That's like double jeopardy, isn't it? That's like um, double whammy. That's like in football where if you're the last man um, you give away a penalty and you get sent off. Like, this is crazy, bro. Crazy. But also, if he actually did do it, 
it's pretty wild, isn't it? Like shooting a girl in the foot because she might have said something bad about your music, which I don't buy personally. I think that's a, I don't, I don't think that was a reason. I think personally, if I'm if I'm gonna be honest again, I think all three of these fuckers are lying. Kelsey, Megan, Tori. They've lied from minute one. No one wanted to say what was really up. Megan didn't want to admit they were even fucking. She didn't say anything about what happened in terms of the real argument that spewed out of the car. Nothing real about the Kylie comment. Um, Tori obviously was playing vague and sending subs in his music. Kelsey writing that horrible rap that she did. They're all probably safe to assume pieces of shit in their own regard. But still, for a man to shoot a woman in the foot because she says something bad about the music yo you are crazy bro you probably deserve to be in prison i'm not gonna lie this marks the conclusion of a wild uh two weeks in court which saw a handful of witnesses take their stand to recount at what they had happened on that fateful night megan herself obviously testified squarely pointing the finger at tori as the shooter jesus christ all that all those hair products he uses are probably going to be been and gone in prison he's going to come out looking absolutely nuts uh megan uh sorry what's it here uh she said that tory no she said she saw tory with the gun explaining she remembers him firing at her from his cadillac escalade and claims he shouted dance bitch i <laughs> just about tory offered her one million to keep quiet yo meg also called out by the defense for several items um, including the fact that she initially wasn't full fry about uh, having an intimate relationship with Tori and that she did initially lied to police about how her feet had gotten injured. Um, the defense also tried to target Kelsey's ex boyfriend, no, ex BBF, Kelsey as a shooter. Don't this, I know this doesn't matter in the circumstantial, but isn't that also interesting to anybody that in this whole, you know, uh, in this, from this whole affair, Megan has fell, fallen out with a lot of people, isn't it? Like Kelsey, the bodyguard is not her bodyguard anymore. The stylist is gone. A couple of friends are gone. Like, there's a lot of people. Have, but then maybe that makes sense, though. If you went for a traumatic experience, you're probably going to fall out with a lot of people because it's hard to be around you. Maybe they don't know how to act properly. Maybe you resent them. I don't know. But I find that very interesting. She fell out with a hell of a lot of people in it behind this. Um, the defense also tried to target her. Uh, what exactly happened in the car is a major source of contention. That's the thing. We still don't know what happened in that fucking car. During the trial, while Megan had one version of events, Kelsey seemed to have a different story. A black with a very spotty memory on the stand and created the Sopico in recounting on the under oath. Yeah, Kelsey was on on the flipping stand, not remembering things, remembering other things. Absolutely hilarious. But um, the one person I feel the, the, the worst for, oh yeah, big up Gray and Barber. Merry Christmas to you too, brother. Merry Christmas. The thing I, The person I feel the worst for is definitely the dad. And I feel like if one person deserves the truth, it's Tory Lanez's dad. Unless he's reacting like this because Tory told him the truth that Kelsey is the one that shot Megan and that he was trying to get them to stop fighting. Maybe he did, but the way Tory Lanez's dad reacted outside of the court was crazy. God does not lose. Never. And even though we've come to this juncture, trust me, you will see that our God does not fail. This is not the I first know time. that this is wickedness. This district attorney, Miss Kathy Ta. He blamed like Rock Nation, Jay Z, all that sort of madness. But again, like Tory owes his dad the truth, man. He needs to sit him down. Maybe the one jail call that he gets and say, look, this is the truth. I did it. I mean, if he did do it, he needs to own up and say it. Because you can't be having your dad out here screaming and shouting, going crazy, losing whatever hair he has left on his head, necks on his beard, going mad. And, you know, legitimately thinking you're innocent if you actually did it. He should definitely own up if that's the case. And then there's also a video of um, Tory's stepmom going absolutely nuts as well. And they never produce the prints, no fingerprints, not one. Tell me how does bullets disappear in the LAPD's office? Tell me how there's no fingerprints. My God Almighty, I call heaven and earth to be a record today. That Rock Nation, you 
will crumble. I am an apostle of God, and you will know who I am. Rock Nation, you will crumble. Rock Nation. God damn. Jay-Z somewhere like, what the fuck did I do? But, um, I don't know, man. i got to be honest. As a spectator from the outside, I'm just glad it's fucking over, man. It was consuming my timeline, occupying mental space that I probably should be using to try to flipping cure cancer and whatnot and not be worrying about two people who I don't know and pontificating about everything around the case. I also felt all the, even though I think I started off being a little bit anti megan in this, and kind of feel like she was lying. I felt like recently the misogyny and the kind of, you know, the anti woman type vibe going on out there, especially with the red pill guys, was a bit weird. I was like, why are these guys taking it so personally? Why are they acting like they're Tory? Don't get me wrong, it's an unfortunate circ situation. I wouldn't want to be in these shoes. It obviously sets a bad precedent if you're out there in the US that you're seeing somebody legitimately being convicted of a crime with very little evidence that points to him actually doing it. There's obviously circumstances around it, but we don't actually know who actually pulled the trigger. It's very inconclusive. Obviously, beyond reasonable doubt, they came to a conclusion that it probably was him, but it's not concrete. The Kelsey thing is a real, real red flipping alarm bell ringing in the background. Like, why would you get use immunity if you did nothing wrong? And it was this guy that shot, like, doesn't make any sense. Or maybe because you wanted to protect yourself from a fight. I don't really know. But some guys were going way over the top with their, with their Megan hate. It was very strange, very, very bizarre. People were taking it too personally. And I think that's when I kind of pulled away. I was like, you know what? I'm not with you, man. I was kind of against her in terms of she's not telling the truth. You know, kind of let us know what actually happened. Why are you omitting all these details of the story? She Even in the court, she never really, you know, fessed up to the fight with Kelsey and said they bumped into each other. She never really mentioned all the static at Ke Kylie's house. Um, she never even admitted um, the flipping her and Tori had a sexual relationship only until she got to court. Very iffy things. But again, maybe you're allowed to lie in those circumstances. You don't have to tell anybody who you're sleeping with. You know, the fight thing was circumstantial because at the point, at the heart of it, people wanted to know or the court, the case at hand was them trying to prove that you were shot and that this guy did it. And clearly they've kind of come to that conclusion. So I, for one, I'm happy it's kind of over. I'm, I've got to be honest. But if you're Tori's dad, or if you're sorry, if you're Tory, you gotta tell your dad, look, bro, I did it, man. My bad, innit? Like, don't go crazy, don't lose your hair over me, don't be attacking Jay Z and Beyonce and Rock Nations and shit. They did nothing wrong, but God Almighty, man, what an absolute crazy, crazy upset um, for everybody out there. But the Red Pill Twitter are going way over the top of this as well, like acting as if like it's them personally involved and whatnot. You guys need to relax. You guys need to relax.